Yo, yo, welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. If you do not know who PCBWay is, they do awesome PCB printing services uh, from uh, anything that you have in your mind to actually like KCAD um, or design to actual printing out and getting a tangible PCB in your hands. Uh, they also do 3D printing services as well as injection molding and CNC uh, machining as well as sheet metal fabrication and bending. They have been a great sponsor of this channel for quite a while now. So I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate PCBWay. I have used them on a few different projects of my own. Some ideas of some upcoming projects that I want to use them on as well. If you haven't, definitely check out PCBWay. I will put a link in the description below to save some dollars off your first order. Thank you PCBWay for all your support. Today's video though is going to be on the Portpec H4M and we will be continuing down the transmit side of things. We went over the Flipper TX files a few weeks ago and I did a short on the burger pager and I think we're going to skip the CVS spam because that's very similar to the whole customer service that we can do with Flipper Zero or the H4M. That's like your Lowe's, your CVS, your Walgreens, uh, any st stores that have those kind of like paging services, that's where that comes from. So we're going to skip that. GPS uh, simulation, I'm still working on that on the back end of things. So for now, I'm going to skip that. Skip uh, the jammer for now as well. LGE is your kind of laser tag systems, uh, which we don't really have too many of those in my area anymore. And then the uh, Teddy slash LCR, that is uh, mostly European, I think, based lighting system. So like your overhead lights over streets, those use a frequency of sorts, and that's where that app can come into. Here in the U.S., we don't have any of those that I'm aware of. Oh, okay, uh, Brute, and then oh, okay, Editor. Um, those are kind of, again, self-explanatory as well. Uh, that's just brute forcing with oh, okay or editing your files with the editor. And then we're going to get into some SSTV later on down the line. Today, we're looking at S Painter. Now, uh, this is pretty simple app. This is going to be, you can create a 24-bit.bpm file. Uh, or an image and the resolution can be i believe up to 10 by or 1024 by 1024 ish we're going to be sending this image over radio waves and then we're going to be viewing it here on the u console with the uh sdr plus plus brown edition and then um we'll see it here on the waterfall and then we're also going to see it on the screen recording over here on the tablet that way you can get a real good picture of what this can do so to do this uh we're going to go to load image now, I already created an image. I just used ChatGPT to create the image for me. And then I use an online PNG to BPM uh, editor. And then I just told that editor online that I wanted it to be 24 bits. And it spit it out, downloaded it. And then you're going to save that image to a file on your H4M SD card. Uh, and that file needs to be titled Spectrum. Uh, currently, with the latest, one of the latest nightlies that I'm running right here on this, port it back 250713 on this one right here that file that folder is not in the sd card so you'll need to create it uh i just did it on my phone everything was on my uh phone here that i just uh used chat gpt saved it to my photos uploaded it back to the web of um to convert it and then saved it onto uh my sd card just pull out the sd card put it in a sd card reader on my phone and then save the file over there and then back to the uh, port pack. To do this, we're gonna do transmit. And then, like I said, we're gonna go down here to the bottom and hit S Painter. And then I wanna go load image and then I already have this image there. I just did your kind of basic skull and crossbones. Told ChatGPT, hey, I want a skull and crossbones and a hacker-ish vibe uh, and retro -y. And it spit out this Kind of matrix looking skull and crossbones so great job chat dbt right uh so i got the file loaded and then i'm just going to use this frequency of 457.5750 remember to be transmitting on frequency that you have privileges to do so on the u console we are also tuned to the 457.577 uh so let's see we're going to adjust that a tad bit because that got out of sync and then from there, I have my zoom up here, uh, kind of zoomed all the way in. So let's go ahead and hit play over here. And then um, our bandwidth is going to be uh, that 12K 
there. That's kind of a standard. And then we can also loop this if you want. Uh, so let's just go ahead and loop. And then hit play. And then you can see here on the U console that we are now generating that image. And you can see it is pretty clear what it comes through as a skull and crossbones. You can clearly see there as the waterfall is going that we are uh, definitely transmitting that skull and crossbone image like I discussed. And it actually comes in pretty clear. I'm sure that if we were to fine tune a few different things like gain and some of the other um, RTL and tuners and such, it would probably clear up a little bit. There is another thing that we can also do, uh, and that is gonna be sending a text. We're gonna go to that like. We're gonna do the good old like and sub. And if you guys do like this content, please like it. And if you wanna see more of this stuff, please subscribe because it helps me out and uh, I greatly appreciate it. So now we have our message set. We can go over here and we're gonna hit play and then if this worked right, we should be able to see like and sub come through. Just gotta zoom out some, and you can definitely see that we are receiving. Yep, there we go. So you can definitely see right here coming in, we got like and sub. So pretty simple, pretty cool on the uh, Spectrum uh, painter. Go check it out. Uh, you can use an SDR of your choosing. I tried with the secondary porter pack here, the H4M, and uh, I tried kind of getting this one to view what it was sending. I had some difficulties uh, with the spectrum there, um, and I, I couldn't really get it tuned in, but I'm not saying that it can't be done, but uh, for some reason, I just couldn't get my settings dialed in to where it was going to be crystal clear for this video. Kind of scrapped it using the other H4M, but you can definitely use a SDR of your choosing. If you guys are interested in any of the uh, open source SDR lab stuff, they provide these H4Ms as well as this awesome Mayhem shirt uh, with the sine wave there. I kind of debuted these a few weeks ago as well. Um, they have some new shirts in stock. Go check them out. I will put a link in the description below as well uh, to save a percentage off. So definitely check out that coupon in the description below. Thank you guys for your time. I appreciate it as always. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe to that fun stuff and stay tuned for some more content. I will have some other stuff with uh, Zero Trace coming down the line in the next week or two. And then I have an SDR roundup. But yeah, again, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.